Hey guys, I'm my gardener, and I wanted to show you guys something really quick. This is gonna be a super brief episode, but it's very, very cool. It's very important, and it's the importance of honeybees. Now, a lot of people don't like honeybees near their house because they think of them as a disturbance, or they think of them as a potential hazard. And I'm here to actually tell you guys that uh, for those of you that don't know, honeybees actually don't mean any harm to humans whatsoever. The only way they will sting you is if you attack their home. So if you stay out of their their kind of zone, um, they're not going to hurt you one bit. And also, if even if you do come near near them, um, they don't have intentions of stinging you. They simply don't. They're there to pollinate your flowers and do good. So basically what we've done is we've kind of turned our house into kind of a oasis for bees where they can come, nest, and do their own thing. Now we don't have any honeybee nesting boxes. That would be cool, but we don't have those. Um, what we do have is a very old house and so there's sometimes some some cracks that they can make nests in simply uh, just inside of those little cracks there and it works out really great they love it now uh, it started out as kind of a nuisance we used to spray for them before I before I gardened a lot and finally we just said well, look if they're gonna keep coming back every year why are we gonna spend the money on spraying them and killing them when number one they're good number two they're good number three there's uh, a lot of issues with honeybees right now not coming back to the hives and um, what I'm going to show you is actually a very good sign, it's a very beneficial sign um, because what we actually have is a dividing hive and a lot of people have never seen a dividing hive before so I'm kind of going to show you what that looks like now typically up here you see uh, this spot right here and you may even be able to see some bees flying in out of there that is one of their little hives there. They actually nest up in that little crack up there. They nest inside of that, just like a honeybee box. And there's probably maybe anywhere between five and 10,000 um, total, but that's not where they're at right now. They're going in and out of there. But actually, I gotta be very careful because they don't like to be tampered at all. They don't like this one bit. I gotta come over here and uh, they used to be up in that tree, but look, you see this? Okay, all right, I gotta stay kind of low because I'm in their zone right now. I gotta respect their space. Oh, jeez. Okay, yeah, I gotta respect their space. Respecting their space is very important. But if you guys can see that, that is actually a dividing hive. It's gotten too large for the, it's gotten too large for the, uh, for the nest there. And so they've actually divided And there we go. Now we'll focus on that. And those are all bees. And it's just, it's mass confusion right now. And they don't really know what's going on. They don't know what to do. They don't know, um, you know, where to make a nest because it's too large of a spot. So what we're doing is we're just letting them do their thing. We're letting them divide because they are going to go back to the original nest. They're going to go back to... Uh, where they originally were nesting, but they instead actually have two queens now, and they're dividing the nest up between the two queens to go find another nest as well. So we're just kind of letting them do that. We're giving them their space that they deserve, and um, and we're just kind of respecting that. Uh, they were up in this magnolia tree here, up there, but my guess is with the high winds and stuff, as you guys can see, I'm guessing, uh, yeah, like right there, we just got a big gust, and I'm guessing they went to a lower branch because it was way, it was swaying a lot. And what they're doing in this clump here, what they're actually doing inside of this clump is they're actually protecting the queen. They're protecting the queen so that, um, so that they can have a hive. And they basically just cluster all around the queen to, uh, to protect her and, to, um, and also communicate. That's how they communicate in just a big clump like that. And it's pretty amazing. It's very, it's very awesome how nature works, so. I decided to show you guys that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Hopefully you guys learned something. And also hopefully it makes you kind of look differently at the way honeybees are. Uh, you know, when they are dividing, they can be potentially um, a little bit more um, aggravated and ready to, to sting because they're protecting a queen. And right now they don't have a hive. They're, they're very confused, very disoriented. And that's why it's best to respect their space. And that's what I've been doing. I've just been respecting their space. Um, 
anyone that comes over here, we tell them to just keep a 20 foot radius away from the, the hive because right now it's actually out of the hive as you saw. So we're just kind of staying away from there. And as you saw, I kind of got a little close, but it was, it was, uh, it was fine because um, I'm around there a lot. And um, so I know kind of how close is too close. And it was definitely at that fringe, so that's why I backed up a little bit. But it's important that you just don't touch those hives, or if you if you have kids around and you feel that um, that it becomes a hazard because kids don't know, um, you can call a bee company, um, not one that kills bees, but a company that will actually come out and relocate the hive for you. They bring out a nesting box and they they basically just shake the hive and it just drops right into the box, and and the miracle of the hive is is that they, they center themselves around the queen bee so that you'd think that the, the hive would just go nuts and go stinging everybody. But actually they just drop into the box and they just stay there because they know where the queen is. So it's actually very, um, it's a very, uh, very effective way of taking out a nest that you might think is hazardous uh, without doing any harm to the to the hive at all whatsoever. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. Hopefully you guys learned something new. And this is my gardener reminding you guys to grow bigger at home. Talk to you guys later. See ya. Bye.